Let's go. Chris Campbell, take it away. Hey, Ronnie, uh, congrats on the win. Um, you came out tonight with uh, Maxi on the left wing and Jesus in the middle in the 4-2-3-1. Uh, can you kind of explain the, the reasoning behind that? Was it more for uh, Jesus in the middle, kind of pressing in the middle there? Because we uh, need, um, we're going to play, uh, we played a good team when we play in chess with the opponents. They're really good to play from behind. So I needed to have a player that knows how to press and um, Jesus in the middle uh, gets, is the guy who runs most in the team. And um, we need that to, to cover for Vanyama, especially. Um, and then also there's more space on the on the left side. And then Max, Maxi, we're going to go more in those, those spaces. So that's, um, that's why, uh, you know, when you don't get your wins, you have to start with the, the defense. You have to keep zero and then things will come. Because if you lose shape and you lose uh, structure, then uh, then you will go under and then it's much tougher in, in tough periods when we haven't won for a while. So I was uh, really pleased with the team today. All right, Trey. Hey coach, congrats on the win. Uh, looking at the stats, New York City had 17 shots to seven, five shots on target to one, but only at 43% of the possession. What do you think those stats kind of on your read tell you about the game that you guys played today? I say again, they are maybe the best team in the MLS uh, to play from behind. Um, and they play without fear. And they have good players as well on the ball. So if you press them well, you win the ball in good situation and then you can counter-attack on them. We did that over and over again. Um, and um, and um, we were not good enough on the ball ourselves. That's why we didn't have more possession, and that's something we have to improve the next game. Let's go to Ryan. Ronnie, how much did Luis uh, impress you tonight, both with his distribution on that goal and then just his general demeanor out there? I did uh, everything perfect today. I was uh, steady um, and confident, and you know, it was a strong very strong performance when uh, what's happened last uh, last game and then come back and, and perform like it was uh, was very impressive i'm so happy for him and uh, the the pass was uh was really really good i was uh, i didn't expect that coming i knew he had a, a tough uh, a good uh, kick on the ball but this is uh he can go in the nfl with the with his kick okay uh michael uh ronnie i want to keep going with that because uh we we talked on monday about luis and um how much do you think this performance tonight helps his confidence knowing that you know sean's still going to be away for a while it, it it's got to make you feel good and make him feel even better of course you know that's what's experience uh, about you know get the, these uh, young uh, players to to get games is, is important and uh, he uh, he did it really, very good today. And uh, as I said to me, also the game last time, 95% of what he did last time was really good. Take with you the positive and then, you know, uh, try to improve the other things. And he had a perfect mindset into the game and he, he did very good. So so that's uh, something to, to keep on uh, working on. It's about consistency. Do it, uh, do it every time. Okay. Uh, John? Uh, Ronnie, just talk about Ishmael's performance tonight. You know, I remember earlier in the season when he was especially coming off the bench, it seemed like he would work his way into games and he seemed to be getting better and better. And it just seems like he's always able to do things that, you know, help the team win. And aside from the goal, he had some good passes. So just just talk about how uh, Ishmael's performance tonight and how he keeps getting better and better as the season progresses. i really impressed by him today. It was... Uh, was... One thing is what he do offensively, but also what he do defensively. He was, uh, I was covering a lot of ground. His attacking spaces, his good one we won. He's a fantastic finish. So sad that he didn't get that second in the when he hit the, the bar. So um, you know, and his consistency now with the mid games, uh, and uh, he has shown before when he have consistency that he can uh, can uh, do good in this league. And, uh, and now he's uh, really confident and. Uh, He's doing a good job in uh, defense and offense for us, and, uh, and also been both him and Jesus. As you know, we are two who plays most on the right that have scored uh, together. I think they have scored 11, 12 goals or something, and that's uh, say something about um, those two's performances. All right, we'll do two more. Let's go, Christian, and then Aiden to end it. How's it going, Ronnie? Uh, good win out there. Uh, we saw.
saw towards the end of the game, you brought uh, Tiago in uh, and he seemed to be playing at the number nine. What exactly were his instructions for that role when you put him on? Because traditionally he's a winger. And, and do you see that as a viable position for him moving forward? I think he can play there as well. Uh, the game was a lot about transition. So, you know, having him in the center and attack spaces will will be good. But I think he did come on, did good. Um, and it's good in small spaces as well. So, he, um, the big thing with the... Uh, with him is um, that he has to learn how to defend well. And I knew today that if we didn't defend well, we, we will get punished. Uh, and, uh, and um, you know, he's adapting still to, to our style and how we play. But he's been uh, been good every time he gets a chance. So, um, and also, he's, he's very fast and uh, muscles are really explosive. So, the load on him as well. He's not used to the, the way we're training and, and so many things. So... We need to 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 take care of him so he doesn't uh, play uh, ten games in a row from start. I think that would be a little bit too early for him, and uh, we have to get away injuries and, and small things because he's so powerful when he when he gets going. All right, Aiden, end it. Hey, Ronnie, congrats on the win tonight. Um, after this game, you've now outshot your opponents in the last five matches. What are your thoughts on this uh, moving forward as a team? I'm very happy with that, you know. So okay, we we we're working with our style all the time. We're improving, I think, all the time. And um, we need to be better in the both boxes today. Defensively, we were really good. We, we they didn't have a lot of chances. I don't know, maybe two, three. If I if I'm thinking back, and offensively now, we, again we had I I don't know many. It was a lot of clear chances, and uh, that's uh, you know it's a, it's a positive challenge to, to get more effective when uh, it's more hard if you don't create anything and, and don't get uh, get the opportunity. But here is we just need to be more execute, execute them more when we when we do that and we're gonna to be tougher to play against.